here's a gear noise demonstration. No noise, first and second. disengaged we just got the old transmission out here and this is what the input shaft is doing you can see how much movement we have throughout the whole damned assembly and the input shaft is missing a tooth right there the bastard the shift collar is also pretty wonky looking so I've got this guy knocked loose here. All state gear this is their handiwork. Let's take a look at the input. Oh, come on. Okay. So that guy's there. I don't know. We'll have to dig deeper. Okay, so what happened? Um, I've got to get a snap ring plier set because this thing is a little more than I'm up to the task for. But um, the theory so far, this is the main shaft out of my transmission. Okay? And the theory here is um, the preload was excessive and it caused the tapered bearings or the thrust bearing for the input shaft to wear. Um, and when that happened, it caused this on the main shaft. So as that thrust bearing was actually, and, and here's the thing too, this could have come from the last time I torqued my fifth gear or it working loose. Because if you lose preload on this shaft, it is going to not want to shift and not want to do stuff right. So um, talking to Chris over at Torque King, who's a smart guy and a great guy, um, you know, we kind of figured that when I got this thing from Allstate, it was probably too tight, that it had too much preload on the main shaft. And <clears throat> reason why we say that is when I first got it installed, I had to power shift it a couple of times to get it to actually start shifting between gears, okay? Now, you see all this, this is what's called Brunelling, okay? And that's Brunelling of the shaft, and it's eccentric, which is interesting, because what it says is that that thing was kind of wearing at an angle. So, for the new transmission, what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna replace this uh, main shaft minus this gear, and then I'm gonna replace the input shaft as well which is this guy over here. Now, the weird thing about this, not weird, but what's interesting. So let's take a look at the input shaft. Now, normally, I would think I'd see some kind of Brunelling inside of there, but there isn't, it's, it's pretty clean. It's clean to the eye. Now, if I measure that, I suspect that it'll probably be bigger the deeper inside you go. <laughs> I always like it when it's like that. Um, and the bearing, this guy, focus. Um, it's hard to say. I could probably measure these rollers and see if they're tapered. I suspect they probably are. That's the bearing that goes over this guy. And ramp. So, and then furthermore, this thrust bearing here you're not gonna see it on camera, but these guys, all of these little bearings on the outside are worn so that they're tapered getting smaller towards the outside, okay? So you got that. What this guy does is it goes up against Pion and uh, well, it actually goes like that. But anyway, this is your uh, 
your reverse here. And he thinks. So, one, two, three, locked up, five, four, direct through, reverse. Anyway, probably wrong, but yeah. So that's why this guy was making noise. Let's see if we can get it to replicate. How's about we don't roll this off the back of the truck, Jared? It sounds like the same damn noise. You don't say. Okay. Pull this app. Give it. Can we balance it? Essentially noiseless. So, yeah, yeah, that's probably going to be the problem right there. So thankfully, um, I got to it soon enough. We broke a tooth off this guy too, which is cool. Um, it's always nice when you break a tooth off an input shaft. Probably from all them tripping gears and doing brody. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what happens. I probably could have ran this thing for another couple thousand miles and just totally been ignorant in my bliss or bliss in my ignorance <laughs> so blissful at any rate uh we're gonna keep on going with this and we'll see how she goes tip for the uninitiated this is a bag these are anti-rotation pens of which i have three i should only have two however you'll notice <laughs> As I balance precariously, I'm gonna put these little bastards in a bag. Okay. The reason being is when you put little items like this in a bag of this magnitude, they become nearly, though not completely, impossible to lose. <clears throat> this guy walks into a bar, and. Uh, Sits down and bartender says, man, how are you doing? He says, man, I've had a hell of a day. Terrible day. Bartender says, what happened? He says, well, uh, you know, I went home, came home from work, only to find my wife having sex with my best friend. And he says, whoa, that's heavy. I said, here, have a shot on me. Guy takes a shot. Bartender says, what'd you say? Like, what did you do? He said, I looked at her. I said, you grab your shit and you get the fuck out of my house. I don't want to see you again. And uh, he says, damn. What would you say to, to your best friend? Guy says, bad dog.